What's up, world? It's your boy, Ken and Corey, man. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the Las Vegas airport. I just recently went to the Las Vegas airport last week while I was leaving Las Vegas to come back to Houston. I flew out there for a day. Oh, and I have roosters in my neighbor's backyard. If you're not used to this channel, just ignore it. Anyways, went to the airport, and I noticed there was a couple things that I wish I would have known before I went there. So today, I wanted to share those things with you guys so maybe he can make you guys have a better time and better experience work while going through the airport. So, okay, so first of all, when you get to Las Vegas airport, it's kind of like an up and down stairs. When you get to the departure, when you arrive at departure, you want to try to kind of have your stuff ready to go because they are pretty strict on people parking in the front area, the departure area, to make room for other people. They want to make sure there's always a continuous flow going through. So make sure you don't take too long to get out of the car, uh, whether you took an Uber or whatnot. Then when you go inside, you'll be on the first floor, which is where all the like check-in desk uh, areas are located. Once you check your stuff in, you pretty much turn to the left or pretty much at the end of the hallway, you'll notice there's, these, there's two big escalators going up. Those are gonna be the escalators that you take to go upstairs to security and then pretty much end up going to your gate. If you did get a flight that's anywhere close to like five o'clock or four o'clock, I would definitely make sure you get there around two o'clock, like three hours ahead of time because the line can be pretty long and move pretty slow. Okay, so this line is ridiculously long, people. Uh, if you're planning on coming to Las Vegas airport and getting up out of here on time, make sure you get here at an early enough time because it's crazy. Now, in order to get through security, you have to have your ticket and some type of government ID, whether it's your driver's license or your passport. Me, I have my passport. Once you're showing your passport, they'll let you start going through the security line. It'll pretty much be like a self-guided line. You'll know exactly where to go or they'll tell you where to go. Now, the type of like x-ray machines that they have are seem to be pretty top notch because we didn't really have to take that much out of our bags. This is one of the first times in a while that I was able to leave all my electronics in my backpack. And then only thing we had to do, we still had to take off our shoes. So you might want to wear some socks if you're not used to wearing socks, I'm not gonna put them on because I wouldn't recommend walking on the cold hard floor in the airport. Security wasn't too bad. I mean, it was really long, but it wasn't too bad. Finally making it to the gate. Uh, I would say the Las Vegas airport isn't too bad to, to navigate through, but make sure you get here in enough time because uh, it can get congested for sure. Now we're headed to our gate. To wait for our plane. But yeah, the security part wasn't too bad. I didn't really see any people getting like frisked down or like taken off to the side to do any type of extra pat down or anything like that. It seems like most of the airports have kind of chilled out just a little bit on the security purposes. And you also don't have to wear a mask. Depending on when the last time you guys flew, if you guys know it used to be really strict at airports to always make sure you have a mask on. But in Las Vegas, I didn't see anybody with masks on except for the actual workers that work there. But if you're just flying and you're a guest, it's optional, up to you. But once we got through the gate, uh, one thing that is kind of surprising if you're not used to Vegas is how much opportunities there are to gamble. Even at the terminal when you're waiting on your plane, there are plenty of seated gambling stations to be able to play and spend all your money while you're waiting on the airport. You literally can go broke while waiting on your flight. So if you have a gambling problem, man, I would definitely suggest to try your best to control your urges because you can definitely spend all your money while waiting for your flight. And also don't forget to enjoy the views. While you're at the airport in Vegas, you see like mountain ranges, you can see downtown Vegas, you can see the strip and everything. And I would definitely say it's one of the most beautiful locations or most beautiful airports as far as like having scenery to be able to wait on your plane as I've ever seen. Okay, but yeah, you know, other than that, the Las Vegas airport is a pretty cool airport to go to. I definitely found that it was clean and people were pretty respectful. Um, there's all kinds of walks of life that go to the airport every day, so it seems to be well versed in being able to take care of any type of guests. If you guys have any other questions about the Las Vegas airport, please leave them down as a comment below and I will continue to make these videos now that I see that people actually care about seeing how to get through these airports that I've been going through and I'll basically see you guys in the next video. Peace.